Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out at the range doing a little bit of shooting today. <clears throat> it is a very windy day out today, so I decided I would uh, keep this uh, short range today, get out and just shoot some pistols, do a little bit of uh, playing around. And the <clears throat> video I'm gonna try out today, or right now, is uh, I wanted to get out and test this new laser sight that uh, I was uh, sent to do a review on. I did a first review on it. I mounted it up on my Crossman M4177 and it actually worked pretty good. Uh, but I really wanted to try it out on, you know, a real gun and uh, see if it would hold up. I've already shot a couple of rounds through it and uh, seem to be doing pretty good so far. Um, this is my Breda 92FS M9A1. The A1 version actually has the the, that's how it became an A1 is having that piece of pick rail added to the bottom of the uh, frame so that it can hold a laser or a flashlight or something like that. I'm going to try it with two different ammunitions. Um, <clears throat> I have some 9mm cast lead bullets. These are my, hand, my own hand loads. Let's see, these are 125 green cast lead loaded with red dot. I'm not going to tell you the load because... YouTube will demonetize my channel, <laughs> but uh, I also have some, just some federal 9mm, 124 grain full metal jackets, and we'll go ahead and try those as well, but uh, let me get my ears in, and we'll go give it, a, I'm pretty oppressed, uh, the, even, even in nice bright daylight like today, it, it, it is actually overcast, but it's still pretty bright out here, um, I can see the uh, green dot on my target without any issues at all. So uh, I have it sighted so that uh, when I am looking through my sights, I can see the green dot just over top of the sights. So I can actually use the sights and the, the laser at the same time, but it's uh, zeroed pretty good. Let's go see what we can do. Um, Oh, got to turn the got to turn the laser on. Just getting used to. Oh. Failure to fire. You guys can see that green dot on the. Uh, target down there. Doing pretty darn good. Seems to be drifting off to the left on me a little bit though. Let me find that uh, round there and see what happened with that failure to fire. Doesn't even look like the hammer struck it. Let me uh, put that back in the magazine and I wonder if it was just not even in battery. I wonder if I've got a bad crimp or something didn't allow it to go into battery. It was pretty tough to uh, un unchamber that round. That's better. That's a good looking group. So I'm going to I'm going to intentionally, uh, off to the right hand side there, uh, I'm going to aim at the, you can see where my dot is right there, I'm going to aim at that, that little black bar, the left side of that little black bar, and so we got our groups are separated, hopefully. Didn't lock open on the last one. What's up with that? Did lock open. So uh, I was uh, intentionally trying to shoot that as fast as I thought I could shoot them 
uh, accurately. And uh, it's a pretty good looking group. I mean, that's personal defense. Uh, and that's what this is kind of intended for. So you can get a quick acquisition on the target and not have to uh, mess around with the sights as much. So uh, in which, which I was not using the sights as much, I was holding it like I was sighting it, but I was more looking for the green dot on the target than I was looking at the sights. And that's pretty good results. I am uh, pretty happy with that. Um, let me go ahead, I'm gonna load up one more with my, uh, my hand loads here. Maybe I'll cut out the, uh, Maybe that's going quick enough. Sometimes these can be a little fi little fidgety to get. I don't have a I don't have one of those little speed loader clips to push it down enough to have to get me one of those. But I want to do one more group the same way. I took a little bit more time with the hand loads. Uh, and I want to do another one with the hand loads, kind of the way I just did that with the. <clears throat> with the the commercial ammo and just shoot it as fast as I think I can reliably hit the target. Definitely not in battery. Oh, it just went into battery now. All right, so looks like the the hand loads are actually doing a little bit better. I did pull one up off to the left. I. I Felt that flinch as soon as I pulled the trigger though, but uh, there you go, there is the, <laughs> see, where's the, uh, where's the camera on this phone, there it is, <laughs> but uh, there is the Beretta Model 92 FS with a Vovatu, I forgot to mention that earlier, the Vovatu, and that's the H3LG H3 LG laser laser sight seems to be holding a zero pretty good. Uh, that one off the up high and left there was was totally me. But uh, other than that, it's it's really I really like it. <laughs> I got to do some research. I don't even know if that's even legal in my state. But <laughs> I mean, a lot of stuff is not legal in New York that uh, is totally legit everywhere else. But uh, anyway, there you go. There is my. My second uh, review, I guess you could say, of the Vovatu uh, laser sight. Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Check down below. I've got a <clears throat> Amazon storefront, and you'll find this laser sight in that storefront. They also have red and green, uh, red, green, and blue, um, and they're not very expensive. Less than fifty dollars. If you've got uh, Amazon Prime, no, you know it's free shipping. So uh, I think the, I think the green and the blue are like forty-three dollars, and then the red one's thirty-nine. So go ahead and check that out. But uh, so far it's pretty nice. I mean you can turn that on with your off hand, and then you're ready to go. And uh, it's uh, it's nice and bright. I mean it's bright, bright day out here today, and I can see that green dot on that site without any problem at all. So. I'm pretty sure that would show up on a, uh, you know, bad guy, <laughs> no problem either. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Have a great day.